How can you conquer year-end evaluations using JotForm? In today's video, I'll tell you about what makes an effective and actionable employee performance review and what special circumstances you should take into consideration when evaluating your employees. Then, we will introduce you to JotForm's suite of tools that are sure to streamline your year-end review process. Hi, everyone. I'm Jacqueline from JotForm. Are you ready to learn more? Me too, so let's jump right in. As you near the end of the year, you naturally begin to anticipate your yearly performance review. Despite their obvious importance, employee evaluations and performance reviews are not generally considered to be enjoyable tasks. Annual performance reviews are often a struggle due to the amount of work involved, the organization required to make sure all employees are reviewed, and the discomfort of the review process itself, which often relies heavily on tedious manual work. As a result of frustrations like these, over 70% of companies have decided to change the performance management process for good. And thankfully, JotForm's tools are there to help them in doing so, JotForm can assist you in managing your year-end review process from conception to completion. JotForm allows leaders to easily compile reviews, organize submissions, incorporate stakeholder feedback, and present a final review, saving you from the hassle of doing so manually. But before you can dive into the process of employee evaluations, you must ask yourself, what goes into a good performance evaluation? The entire point of employee performance reviews is to provide a framework that will nurture employees and help them to achieve their professional goals. So, in order to conduct a worthy review process, there are certain industry standards that you should keep in mind. First, it is essential to consider goals. It would be extremely difficult to determine if an employee has done well or poorly without referencing business goals to measure their performance against. These goals can vary as they are often based on an employee's job description or individual projects. And it is often best for employees to have some input in determining these goals as this provides several benefits, like securing employee buy-in and ensuring that their individual development and achievement aligns with the needs of your company. Ultimately, you should be sure to make goals that are smart, which goes beyond the goals being well thought out. SMART is an acronym that refers to goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. SMART goals are not new, as the concept has been around since the 80s, but they are especially relevant today. Next, you should look at self-evaluations as a key part of the review process. It is usually best to include a self-evaluation in the review process to determine if the way that an employee sees their work performance aligns with the perspective and feedback you provide. For instance, if an employee is overly critical of themselves or not critical enough, it can assist you in moderating your feedback and emphasizing areas of strength or improvement. And you can always look to an employee's peers for a full picture, as often teammates are more likely to highlight each other's successes. This insight will allow you to fill in the blanks about the employee's value to the company. Another consideration to make is the current landscape of society and your workplace. For example, the COVID-19 pandemic has posed its own set of challenges to the employee review process. With work moving to the home setting, everyone has faced challenges like smaller space and increased distractions. People had to adapt. As far as performance goes, the circumstance has developed the need for increased employee accountability, improved team collaboration, and tighter feedback loops. So, how can you ensure your performance evaluations are effective in the age of COVID-19 and working from home? First, you should be sure to factor in their ability or lack thereof to adapt to the sudden change in work circumstances. Then, 
Realize the way that you manage both top performers and those with performance issues will now need to become more nuanced. While top performers will always have external options, it is essential to remind them of their value to your company in the face of challenging situations like the pandemic in order to ensure they feel secure in their role. But for underperformers, your feedback should be delivered with a higher level of sensitivity, taking into account some possible underlying reasons for slipping performance. The focus should be on crafting a time-based plan for improvements, as well as asking if there is anything an employee may require in order to become successful. And finally, while numerical or graded ratings for performance often feel appropriate due to their ability to measure and represent quality of work, you may want to consider a narrative-driven review instead. In a narrative-driven review, numerical ratings are used as more of a guide or are done on a curve. Ultimately, whichever review method you choose, be sure to add more contextual feedback in light of the unique challenges you and your team have likely faced. Fortunately for you, JotForm's tools create better performance review experiences all around. In recent years, there has been a shift to regularly touching base with employees so that year-end feedback will not come as a surprise to anyone. To reach that successful year-end assessment, you should keep a record of your employees' achievements and challenges throughout the year. JotForm's core functionality supports a continuous feedback framework at scale through JotForm tables, which allow you to record your employees' notable events. Then you will be able to funnel your collected performance discussions into your year-end review. JotForm's tables are a ready-made database that you can sync with employee performance review forms and or self-evaluations that might come in handy during annual review time. JotForm offers several form builder field or widget suggestions and two platform solutions to ensure that you are getting the most out of the performance review process from start to finish. Some basic fields that we offer are long text, you can use this field to collect contextualized responses to questions. Drop down. Using this field, employees can select their role, choosing a rating from a scale, make a graduated ranking, and more. Single or multiple choice. These fields support quantitative responses, such as measuring progress towards goals and selecting a variety of accomplishment descriptors and input tables, which can quantify the effectiveness of performance across a variety of projects. This table can be used to track an employee's progress towards a promotion. Next, some of the widgets we offer are e-signature, a great way to collect legally binding employee signatures on self-evaluations and final reviews. Form calculation, which is helpful in avoiding conditional logic and ideal for ratings formulas. Simply select which fields you would like to add, subtract, multiply, or divide, and the widget will automatically complete the calculation and show the result. Using an orderable list, employees will be able to reorder as they respond to review questions by simply dragging and dropping the items. And lastly, Time Picker is a scheduling solution widget to enable employees to select a date and time for their face-to-face -face meeting with management. What's good to know is that any data you ultimately collect through your performance reviews or self-evaluation forms will populate automatically as a table in JotForms tables. By connecting one table to another, along with the feedback you have collected throughout the year, you can easily link the relevant details across your performance workflow. Even more, JotForms tables enable you to organize and manage review questions, team ratings, roles, promotability scores, attach documentation, and more. In addition, you can give your employees peers limited access to the table so that they too can input their feedback. To cap off the review process, try another useful solution like JotForm's PDF editor. Once your final review is ready, convert your review forms and self-evaluations to printable and shareable versions. 
You can easily customize your PDF to match your company's branding by selecting a background color or image, adding a logo, and editing other design elements. You can even protect the performance reviews by password protecting your PDF to ensure privacy. For reasons beyond the effects of COVID-19, companies, organizations, and municipalities are making the switch to paperless for many of their operations. Therefore, they need online solutions that are reliable and easy to use. For years, HR director and team managers have used JotForm to optimize their year-end evaluation process. Review forms can be created individually, emailed, or embedded within an intranet for scaled access. Not sure where to start? JotForm has over 70 templates specifically catered to employee evaluations, and all are fully customizable. The best part is that, unlike a performance management technology vendor, JotForm's tools are free, helping you to organize the review process from start to finish. With its unlimited forms, third-party integrations, and cross-platform solutions, JotForm is your solution to a modernized review process. We've covered a lot of valuable information today, so let's take a moment to revisit what we've learned. Well-constructed performance reviews require several elements, such as SMART goals, self-evaluations, and peer feedback. In addition to these standard considerations, Managers should take the effects of COVID-19 into account, especially when looking at their employees' ability to, to successfully transition to work from home, as well as the unique obstacles they may have faced during or after the transition. To optimize the performance evaluation process, JotForm offers a vast number of tools such as forms, fields, widgets, and customizable PDFs to help you along the way. Again, I'm Jacqueline from JotForm, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you will have a chance to try out these tools in your next evaluation process. See you in the next one.